Well, g'day there, friends and traders right around the world. Thanks for joining me on this Monday afternoon market recap. I've still got the data flowing through to my trade navigator software so the volume at the moment is a little bit out of sync please pay attention first of all to the declining volume which is going to take place across all three of the u.s markets this week it is a seasonal period in time where everybody or the majority of people market participants do take holidays do remove themselves from the market to readjust to reflect and transition themselves into the new year beginning 2015. That's the first thing which I wanted to mention in this particular Monday afternoon market recap. The Dow Jones today up 150 points. Again, it's a little hard to account for volume, but please keep an eye on that particular daily volume bar. The S&P was up close to eight points, not as is not impressive, pardon me, as the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And the NASDAQ today, nice little daily continuation signal, which we can see up about 16 points. We're still running into some very, very strong uh, levels of resistance going back to about 4,800. On the NASDAQ, again, we still have to battle with that as we move into 2015. We're getting very close to the all-time highs made in early December uh, on the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and we're also very close to those all-time highs. Actually, we've peaked above them on the S&P as at the close on Monday afternoon. So some pretty interesting signals taking place across the three of the US indices. At the moment, personally, I'm quite flat in the market. I do take this time uh, to, again, remove myself from the market, to spend it with friends and family, to have quality time away, and then to come back again aggressively in 2015 and carry on with the momentum which we have made in 2014. Uh, currently at the moment, although there are some pretty nice trade setups in our top 13 individual trade list um, when it comes to deciding whether or not to place these trades for this week i'm sort of sitting on the corner on the on the part anyway of not trading and letting the trade be at least till next weekend tuesday yes we do have a full trading session wednesday is going to be a half day thursday the market is closed for christmas day and then again the market opens on friday uh, only to be closed uh, on the first for new year's day so please um, just keep that in mind when you're trading options. Again, theta is going to eat away at those options, even if, again, the market is closed. All right, so there is going to be a little bit of time decay in those options if you hold over this period in time. Apple today was up slightly, up about a dollar. We still have this red perspective box at the moment. We're keeping very neutral until we break above or below this one particular box. No real net movement there. Amazon today was up about six dollars, stopped out at three oh four dollars and fifty cents on the on the downside or on the bullish bounce. Again, look at the volume on Amazon. Very very small, only half the daily uh, volume which we've seen around this pivot point about two ninety five. Baidu today sort of or could trying to at least break off break out above 234.82 it hasn't done that yet very very small volume caterpillar a little bit of a slight bounce up 60 cents you can see the spinning top candlesticks on baidu on caterpillar very very similar you can see that it looks as if anyway the volume is very very small but it looks right here that we've got a little bit of a bear flag which is going to break to the downside I do expect caterpillars price to come back down to about 90 dollars short term this was a very very aggressive entry at 92.60 the trade setup still isn't there so i please um, or i hope anyway that you took my caution um, over pro of the weekend disney today broke out it is or it was up about a dollar 31 let me just change to the unsplit price right here it hasn't actually triggered we still have the entry here at about 95 dollars and 16 cents but hear me out disney as at next weekend this is what i'm thinking that's dis ticker symbol dis for disney is going to be rotated out and as its replacement, we're going to include Alibaba for 2015, okay? If you do like that, please confirm. I've had a lot of emails, a lot of emails this week saying, look, I agree with you, or sorry, over the weekend saying, I agree with you. Let's add in Alibaba instead of Disney. So at the moment, or as it sits currently, that is my plan of attack. Uh, beginning this week in this weekend's pro analysis class, please let me know if you have any hesitancy or if you want to add your own opinion to um, my decision, which I'm formulating. But at the moment, it's almost a sure thing unless someone can give me a compelling reason not to do so. FAS today is still floating about right where our resistance level is, 127.96. No real net movement there. Facebook today has really been the talk of the town, up about a dollar and sixty cents, very close to that macro trade breakout. Now, what I was sort of alluding to at the beginning of this video was that. Given the seasonal uh, period which we're moving into, when we get a trade setup such as Facebook, right? When we've got a decent trade setup above 81.42, do I want to be forcing this trade or do I want to be entering into this trade knowing that volume is going to diminish? A lot of people are not actively trading Facebook and uh, there's a period in time or at least this year uh, to reflect on 2014 
um, and to really get away from the market. At the moment, yes, Facebook technically did trend or it did trade, uh, but personally, I'm not in this and it doesn't really um, get me excited or it's, it's not something that I'm aggressively looking to pursue in the way of trade setups um, until next week. So that's just my own personal uh, decision. Whether or not you did enter at 8142, it is a really good stellar trade setup. Um, I just like to at least have a break from the market. Um, it's just a personal decision which I made. So very good trade setting up on Facebook. Don't uh, get misconstrued or do not um, get confused by what I'm saying. A very, very nice trade setup. Just this week, I'm sitting on the sidelines just because it's that seasonal period of the year. Google today was up close to $13, $12.20. Um, it looks as if we are starting to shape a V bottom. Very hard to trade a V bottom, but just watch for the bounce and the declining 10 and 20 exponential moving averages. That is something that you need to pay attention to. Halliburton still showing a lot of weakness. The market has had an emphatic weekly rally. Again, it is struggling down 81 cents. We're still around this uh, very strong support level. We still have a lot of bearish sentiment waning on the price of this stock. You can see the declining 20-day exponential moving average. Can't even break above it. We have so much more overhead resistance, even if we can get above it. Um, I think this is a ticking time bomb to the downside. Uh, it's only a matter of time until we get the reversal off from this green box, or if we just start breaking down below 36.92. Netflix today, uh, spinning top again, very similar to the Baidu and Caterpillar candlestick. Um, no real net movement, down $3.44, absolutely nothing given that it trades for or retails for $336 a share. Trade setup is coming to us on Netflix, it's just not here yet. Starbucks again today, this really looks as if we're setting up a little bit of a wedge, which is going to break to the downside. But just keep an eye on volume. Look how small this volume is, the daily volume bars and all of these stocks. This is only going to fall away as the week continues. That is why I'm hesitant to get overly aggressive or involved in the market. A little bit of a chop fest. We are sitting on the 50. Very nice trade though, a continuation of trade if we start breaking below those swing lows to the downside. Tesla today, very aggressive trade at 221.64. Again, personally, I'm sitting on the sidelines with this as I am with Facebook. Okay, just keeping it 100% transparent. Um, but a decent trade setup. I mean, volume's falling off. We're getting, well, you know where the target is at that 100 simple moving average. We still have to contend with the 20 exponential moving average. But I'm really looking for a very important candlestick, which is going to show up this week on, on Tesla. We are at um, a very strong or very important macro pivot point support. Let me just bring this into um, a perspective for you. I'm just trying to bring up my pen drawing tool. Oh, first of all, I'll go back to May 2014. We have uh, resistance. We then have it change it to green, we have support, we then have support, we broke down below it, we're coming back up. You'd expect to see a pivot point or a turning point or at least a slow down here before we can bracket trade this and capture the breakdown or the break out, all right? So I'm sitting tight on Tesla, there is a trade which is going to form. I do believe we just need a little bit more structure. And to finish with, we have Twitter today up about $1.35. It looks as if um, that type of suggestion in basic price is starting to come to um, fruition. You can see we're bouncing, it looks as if we're starting to create some form of a double bottom. I am personally looking for a retest and then a bounce moving forward into the future or a bounce and then a shorting opportunity if we break below this level in a couple of days time at least. It's not there yet, but it's definitely materializing for all of us as we sit here and enjoy Christmas on the Thursday, all right? So thank you so much for watching this Monday afternoon market recap. Have a splendid week. I do hope that you are moving into or transitioning into holidays. You are having a break from both your professional life and also the market. If you have any questions, email me success at pivotpoint-trading.com. Um, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday afternoon for another market recap. I'm not sure about Wednesday. I probably won't in all honesty, but I'll uh, give you a little bit of a recap on Friday also um, once we get that daily candlestick forming, all right? So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great week. Have a great evening. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.